thank you for travelability and the judges and the audience. I am absolutely thrilled to be here. Uh, I even get a chance to wear my spoke orange tie actually today. Uh, my passion for business and technology have always been there, but my dedication to accessibility is really the result of a personal experience. Uh, basically, I had a daughter that was born prematurely and she had difficulties. And what that taught me is the fact that from a, as being parents, we wanted our child to have uh, to be autonomous, to have as much autonomy as possible. And we were so grateful to everyone else, the community that basically were ready uh, to help us uh, to actually achieve that autonomy. And that very, very personal experience basically led me to thinking of Spoke. And Spoke and uh, really addresses uh, the needs for the uh, deaf and hard of hearing community as well. That's over 40 million people. So uh, as basically was a continuation of the last presentation, if you can imagine uh, the issues in an airport when you basically have announcements, even if you in a quote unquote normal hearing person. So if you can imagine the situations from a point of view of a deaf or hard of hearing person, it's worse. And what it means is miss flights, it means less autonomy, and it means not getting the information as quickly or as timely as other people, right? And so what we did with Spoke is we created uh, an app and what the app does is basically it listens to audio announcements uh, at the airport or at any place else. And what it does, it listens to the audio announcements, it captures, it converts the audio announcement as text, it translates the text and delivers that text in the language of the person in their chosen language. So what we have with Spoke is a little bit of magic is that we do use AI, but what it does is it listens to audio, converts the audio to text, translate the audio in the language of the recipient. And uh, that's sort of it for me. And uh, let's go on with the, with the video. In the event of a sudden loss of cabin pressure, masks will descend from the Signore, signori, benvenuti a bordo di del rumor in la puerta de embarque en superior. Spoke is an AI-enabled app that listens to audio announcements, converts the audio to text, translates and sends the text to the user in their own language. As an innovative AI listening assistant for public audio announcements, Spoke is truly a game-changer, focusing on the 1 billion North American air travel passengers and airports worldwide, with 15% of those travelers or the 150 million passengers with hearing loss. Spoke means more autonomy, no missed flights because of missed information, getting emergency information at the same time as other passengers. And with the hundreds of million regular hearing travelers, both international and North American, Spoke means receiving announcements in their chosen language and never missing announcements because of bad audio or distractions. Whether an airport, a hotel, a cruise ship or an event organizer, Spoke means that guests receive your announcements on their phone in their chosen language. Spoke will generate revenue by targeting the 1 billion air travel passengers, over 1,000 airports and advertisers as paid customers. At an app subscription price of $4.99 US per year for travel customers and a $10,000 license per airport, the projected revenue potential is around $2.5 billion US. While Spoke plans include both travel and other general uses, our go-to-market plan will leverage key stakeholders to reach a wide range of app users. In the first phase, we will target the travel industry, we will recruit airports for pilot projects, we will leverage airports to reach all travel passengers, we will recruit partners such as deaf and hard of hearing organizations. In subsequent phases, we will extend our reach in the travel industry with cruises, hotels, attractions and events, we will target other transportation services such as train stations and bus depots. Later, we will target other general uses such as hospitals, theaters and large special events. 
We would like you to join us for this amazing adventure in changing the world for the hundreds of million deaf and hard of hearing, the regular passengers traveling in foreign countries, and our aging family members, who will have more autonomy, less anxiety and traveling and language won't be an issue for a visit. At Spoke, we are focused on accessibility for all and strive to provide tools that are easy to use and adopt. We are eager to work with you and other industry partners to make a positive difference in people's lives. Fantastic video. Thank you so much. At this time, I invite the judges to turn their cameras back on and go ahead and raise your hands for questions. And we and if you have a question from the audience, go ahead and submit that do, via the Q&A button. Camilo, uh, you are up. Thank you. Um, but Valles, Valles, that's how you pronounce your name, sorry. It's Valles. Valles. Yes. Valles, great, great, um, great idea. Similar to the previous idea, right? Um, um, sort of. Um, I see a lot of potential in, in, in the solution, and especially with this AI revolution. I think you both are in the right track. I think that there's a, a lot that can be done um, to create uh, very good products. Um, talking about the product, I would really like to understand what is the current state of the product. Um, so is it already functional? Is it on development? Um, have you already launched? And the question that I'm asking everyone is, can, what, what is the current traction around it? Yeah, yeah. The, thank you very much for the question. The product is functional. Uh, we're actually testing it at real airports ourselves. And we, uh, we are basically, right now we've been working with other airports such as the one, uh, Minnesota, like Minneapolis, I mean. And uh, what we're basically planning to do in September is we're going to the airports conference and we're going to uh, talk to our, the people that we've been talking to for approximately a year and learning from and basically kicking, kicking off pilots. That's where we are. But the products will actually understand the announcement within an ambient sound. It will uh, convert it to text and translate it and delivers it to the person's phone in their chosen language. Thank you, thank you. If I can, I add one thing, Christy. Okay, so uh, sorry, sorry, Chris. So I think I, I was thinking about these two two ideas uh, that they were presented. It seems to me that charging the user, um, somehow I think it's. I mean, it it seems to me that it's almost a basic right. To, to access to, if there is a fire in a building, to access to that uh, somehow, that should be a right. The same thing with getting in the airport. I think that also should be a right. Therefore, I think that the angle more towards B2B makes a lot of sense. I mean, I, I see a lot of potential on like how these solutions can be bought by like the airport provided for free for the user. I mean, if I just focus on the product, the product should be amazing for the user. And I don't have any any hearing the disability, but if I if I had one, I think I would feel like I shouldn't be paying for if there's a problem with my flight or or or, or a fire, I should somehow access to that, right? That should be a right. Um I just wanted to comment on that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wonderful point. Okay, moving on, we've got Chris Marr. Thanks, Christy. Velez, congratulations. Um, really fantastic technology. The the way you just described it, that it picks up the ambient sound. So is it does it work like Shazam, the music app, where it you, you your phone picks up the song and then tells you what it is? Or that yeah, that is amazingly on point. Okay. Uh, we, we we do we do Two, we use different sort of technology. One of them is, is Shazam-like, right? And when we talk about audio, the audio could be a text, a speech, right? Like, please get to your gate at this time. Uh, but it also could be a sound, right? Like a, an alarm bell, right? And our product will recognize both. If it's an alarm bell, it will basically say it's an alarm bell and it will translate that, that event into text 
for the user, again, in their own language. Gotcha. If it's a text, for instance, please get to your Git now, uh, what it will do is it will listen to the, to, the, to the text, to the audio, transforms it to text, translate it and delivers it to you. But it actually goes one better, right? If it says, go to your Git, Mr. Uh, Chris Maher, right? It will actually know that it's Chris and it won't deliver it to Robert. If yeah. you're at the airport, you can actually personalize it so that the, uh, the, oh, that's the cool. announcements will actually come to you. So it's personalized announcement as much as we can. We also have databases of flights. So we will match the fact that it's gate X for flight X at airport Y and deliver it only to the people that are concerned. Gotcha. So this one is thing not, was, mm -hmm. yeah, no, thank you for that. That, that. That's actually a really cool part of it. The one thing I found with Shazam is if there's background noise, it many times is a hard time deciphering what the song is. like. Is your technology so good? Like, you know what it's like at an airport. You know, there could be multiple announcements going on at the same time and it can decipher that. I don't want to geek out too much, <laughs> but but what it does is that like every single person that has the app becomes optionally and they control it, they become a listener. Yeah. So not only can the announcer become a listener, but the person that has the app can basically say, I'm going to tap here and it's going to be listen. So if you imagine an airport, you have 50 people that have the spoke app, they're all listening. And what we do is we take on all of the input and we, we can use it to basically improve the accuracy that this announcement is indeed an announcement yeah. and will deliver it to the right person in their right language. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you.